everyone, I'm Amy Booth and welcome back to the Blue Rose Kennels YouTube channel sponsored by Canine Chronicle TV. We've showed you brushing teeth, some basic baths, some training, some table training, some stacking. We have so much more to come on this channel, but today we're going to tell you something that's crucial to your dog's mental and physical abilities in the show ring, and that's exercise. That's time with you and your dog in the yards, running, playing, building a relationship with each other. There's nothing better than natural exercise. So stay right there and we'll be back to tell you more. stress the importance of free exercise with your dogs. It's a bonding time with you and your animals. It's a time for them to really stretch their legs and build their muscles. You'll see here I'm in the dog yard playing with two golden retrievers that we've had here for a while so I'm sure of their temperaments. I know they get along. It's one boy and one girl. They're super easy to play ball with, which gives them great exercise. Uh, sometimes we will have bigger groups of dogs running together, uh, but most of the time it's groups of two because we want to control their crashes and burns like that one. When they roll on the ground and they play, we want to make sure that they're not knocking each other over and hurting themselves. So two dogs and one person is typically a good size for free form exercise. And I'm a very bad toss with the ball, but playing ball is a good exercise, especially for retrievers. Some people will ask why I always show videos with Goldens and I have to share what I know. It's a breed I'm commonly showing, we commonly keep here. So the conditioning, grooming, and training on a golden retriever is something that is easy for me to share with you. You'll see I like to run. It gives me good exercise too. It makes them follow along. They're not on a leash. So it's definitely building a relationship between the dogs and myself. I can kneel down and they can come to me, I'm on their level, we build even more of a relationship. So when I ask them to do the things in training that make them show dogs, they're more willing to do it for me because they feel this relationship that we've already built. So dog shows are regimented and we ask them to stack, stand, stay, move, but when we play with them in these fashions, we build the best kind of relationships. Now I have a couple of Labradors in the yard, and again, they're retrievers, so throwing a ball is very good, very easy exercise. I've said this before, and I'll say it again, uh, it doesn't matter how dirty the dogs get, they need to exercise. You'll see in an upcoming video, we'll do some trotter exercises, that's where we have a uh, dog trotter and the dogs will run on the trotter or we'll run them off the side of a golf cart if we're at dog shows or off the side of a scooter or bicycle. It all depends on the dog, what form of exercise we do, what that dog can take. Um, we want to make sure they're stable with whatever type of exercise we're providing. Now I'm working with my Smooth Fox Terriers in this yard and I love working with them because they learn to come when I call them and as we all know Terriers are a bit, uh, let's say, they have a mind of their own and when I play with them in this fashion they definitely learn that they want to make me happy and that makes them a better show dog. So these smooths were raised with golden retrievers, so obviously they do fetch and play ball as well. 
Folks, we want to share every little bit of information that we've soaked up and learned through the years so that people don't have to recreate the wheel. So we are sharing all of our exercise techniques so that you can add new tools to your toolbox and incorporate them into your programs as needed. Now back to these guys in the yard and how I like to train them. I find when my dogs want to run away, if I start running, they want to know where I'm going so they come to me. With all the different dogs, there's going to be a cool down where I'll get down on my knees and cool down. So they'll start settling down. You're not going to want to just put dogs away in a crate. Just as humans have to have a cool down period, so do dogs. So we start slowing down the exercise. And the amount of time the dogs are in the yard, it all depends on each individual dog and its needs. Now I have a newer golden that's all on his own. I'm trying to assess his behavior and his speeds, get an idea of what he needs before I start running him in a group with any other dogs. So this is one-on-one -on -one time with uh, me and this one new dog that's in for training and showing and us building a relationship one-on-one. -on -one. This is super important as well. So not one exercise package fits all dogs. You have to assess each animal see its needs, its length of time that it needs to have a workout, and slowly increase that workout. Age is also an important factor. Younger dogs never get quite the same exercise as an older dog with its clearances. Back to this particular dog, it's important that he learns my voice. Lots of vocal commands, good boy, good dog build that relationship because it shows when you show them in the ring. So happy to share this final segment with you of our dear friends and fellow professional handlers, Diego and Evie Garcia, as they use our dog yard for exercising their animals in between the shows. They visited us during the Florida circuit and we are happy to have them be able to use the facility for the same reasons that we do. One thing you'll notice in this clip is there are two people in the dog yard with the dogs because there are more than two animals. Bigger groups need more than one person watching them. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed our tricks for exercising with dogs in the big yard and how important it is to have that contact with them, that playtime, and that physical exercise. Remember, you can wash off the mud, but you can't wash on the muscle tone. So exercise is key for your dog's brain and physical appearance in the show ring. We will be going over some videos on how we use dog trotters, so stay tuned for that episode coming up soon. Make sure you keep watching all these Canine Chronicle TV tips and tricks. We have more coming for you soon. And if you like what we're doing here on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, like the videos, and make sure you set that notification bell so you're notified every time we upload new content. We'll see you in our next video. Have a great day.